The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Houston Cougars and the Buffaloes of Colorado. We've had some great games so far this season, and this one has all the making. Houston is led offensively by their quarterback, and he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. You know me. I decided my pick a couple of days ago. Houston will win. Mark it down. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. Number three lines up in the shotgun. He's looking. He's going left. Got it. Brought down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. Houston comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. A little juke. And they make the stop. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 50. Houston comes out in the shotgun, drops back to pass, throws a lob pass out to the right. The ball is tipped. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. We've got third and three here. Ball right around midfield. They'll drop in for a loss. They line up to punt this one away. Wilkin boots it way up there. Smith signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 17-yard line. Well, we've seen one offensive drive stall. Let's see how this offense does with their first possession. They'll set up shot at the 17. 17-yard line. First and 10. The Buffs come out in the shotgun. Sanders on play action. Throws this one out to the left. The 50 at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Colorado! What an impressive call. I can hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? the PAT. Over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. The score is Colorado 7, Houston nothing. Like they're ready for the kick. Number one, back to return. He kicks it. And it goes out of bounds. That'll draw a flag. You can't blame the refs that time. That'll be the kicker's fault 100% of the time. Delivery procedure on the kicking team. The ball is at the 35 The kick out of bounds will set him up with good field position. Ball on the 35. Number three comes to the line with three wide. And he's taken down. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He drops back. 
Looks, steps up in the pocket, complete, and he's going to lose yards on this one. That'll be a loss of one. Third and eight. Ball on their own 37. Number three is back in the gun. It's a bad snap. Let's it go. And it's caught. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. The Cougar are lining up to punt it away. Wilkins punts it, and it's a good one. Smith fields it at the 19. Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. The secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. They'll go to work at the 24-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Looking across the middle. And it's the seniors. Green with a takedown. A seven-yard gain that time from the play-action pass completion. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 31. The Buffs set up in the gun. With the throw. Got it to the senior. They tried a little play fake that time and got maybe a yard. Third and two, ball on their own 32. The Buffalo come out in the shotgun. Rose, and they've got the screen set up. And they fail to convert for the first down. Well, the offense hates to see that. The defense again, Coach, step it up. The defense is important. It wins football games for you. They line up and punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number one takes it to 25. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. And maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26. The Cougar set up in the gun. Wants to throw outside. Intercepted. And a great set of hands by the defender on that one. How about that, Kirk? We spent the whole week talking to some of his teammates, and no one told us to get catch like that. You're right, Coach. I wonder if this guy played both ways in high school. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. From the gun, back to pass with a quick throw. Has it to the senior, Owens. Brings him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Colorado lines up in a shotgun set. Sanders set to go to the air. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Tackle. A pickup of about three. Three yard gain on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 33. Sanders lines up in the shotgun. Sanders back to pass. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Colorado comes out on the shotgun, drops back to pass, looking, throws it to the outside. And he's tackled on third and long. They get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. First and ten. 
Ball on the 25-yard line. Sanders is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down with the throw. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. on the cover. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Colorado lines up in a shotgun set. Sanders drops the throw. He tosses it short. Complete. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Stop for a five-yard loss. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Buffs come out the shotgun. He drops back. Wants to go long and does. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And he makes his second visit to the end zone with that catch. Oh, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Colorado, 14, Houston, nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks it deep. No chance for a return. It'll come out to the 20. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. From the gun. Throw on first down. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Batted ball. It falls incomplete. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Lewis with a takedown. On the run. Five yard gain on the play. Third and five coming up. Ball in the 30. They line up in the shotgun. play call. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Houston lines up in a bunch formation. Wants to throw outside. The freshman makes the catch. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. Houston lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Looks, he's going left. Incomplete. He let his half back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. 
So it's second and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Drop back and pass. Steps up. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Throws back across field. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Third and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Nickel defense. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. He'll feel that one in the morning. You bet he will. I mean, just look at that guy that sacked him. He's a monster. I could have swore I felt the earth shake when he hit the ground. The Cougs line up the punt. Wilkins boots it way up there. Lewis calls for the fair catch, and it goes out of the end zone for the touchback. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Colorado 14, Houston nothing. Houston will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Smith takes it at the four. Just jumps aside the defender at the 40. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. That looked like a breakdown in kickoff coverage. Instead of staying in lanes, they all started straight to the football. That's exactly what happened. You can't do that. They'll start this drive at the 43. Sanders with three wide receivers. Makes a move. Robinson with a takedown. Just a yard there. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 44. Going with the shotgun here. Sanders steps back to pass. Throws short. The senior makes the catch. Seven yards there. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 49. Sanders has four receivers lined up here. Third and short, and they hand it off. Juku, they'll bring him down. He gets positive yards on the run and picks up the first. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Sanders is back in the gun. Sanders drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws to the middle, and it's caught. And they make the stop. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Great. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. Sanders, back to throw. Throw. Wow, did he take a hit? Yes, my friend, but he's got to make those catches if he wants to play tight end in the big leagues. Otherwise, just gain a few pounds and become, yo, an offensive lineman. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. 
Colorado sets up with four receivers. Sanders with a nice play fake into coverage, and the defense has it. And he's hit hard. And they badly needed that interception. It's sure going to help. If they can march down the field and score, watch out. We might have a game here. They'll take over at the 31. At the 31 yard line. Houston lines up for the shotgun set. Throws this one out to the left. He's asking to get picked off. That was a close one, all right. If no one's open, there's nothing wrong with tucking it in and trying to pick up the first on the ground. Second and 10. Ball on their own 31. And they have three points. He drops back, rolls to the right, and this one's going to get intercepted. Here he goes. The 10. Touchdown, Colorado. And that was their second interception of the game. PAT. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, Colorado 21, Houston nothing. Becker is lined up to kick this one off. One. He boots it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure the coaches talk to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. Nickel defense. And he's tackled. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Tackle. A pickup of five. Five-yard gain on the play. Third and one. Ball on the 34. The Cougars come to the line with their jumbo package. Ham brings him down, and they get the first down. Just a simple give to the fullback, and he gets enough for the first. I like this call. Short yardage situation. Just give it to the big guy. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Cougs set up in the gun. Back to pass. He passes it. Complete. Loss of five there. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 32. The Cougar with four receivers. And he's taken down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Third and 14. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number three lines up in the shotgun. He tosses it short, and it's caught. They'll bring him down. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great-looking pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. The defense lines up with six DB. He drops back. Steps up, throws this one out to the left. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. 
Number three with three wide receivers. Drops back to that. He's rolling right. Over the middle. Picked off by the linebacker. And that was interception number three for this defense. And they got to be happy about that. They'll go to work at the 47-yard line. Colorado comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. It's second down and five to go. Ball right around midfield. The Buffs come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He steps up, looks, down the middle. Incomplete pass. The gunslinger couldn't hit his receiver on that pass. I wonder why. Could it have been because it was thrown in the next county? Third and five. Ball right around midfield. If they're not careful, this impact corner is going to make them pay. Across the middle. He has some room. Green with a takedown. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. Colorado lines up with three receivers. and complete the pass good for six yards. Colorado is one of the best teams in the country at getting points once they enter the red zone. You're absolutely right, my friend. This offense knows how to close the deal and put points on the scoreboard. King wants to throw outside, and it falls incomplete. He couldn't make the catch inbound. He can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. He tries to spin. Green brings him down. The running game hasn't been much of a factor out there. They've been too busy throwing it all over the field. If they're not stopping the pass, you don't have to worry about running the ball. The defense needs to be mistake-free. This quarterback is very capable of making them pay right now. Picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Right. Sanders is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now.
keep it on the ground on the tailback. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. This one's in the books, folks. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Colorado came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2006. And again, our final score on this one, Colorado 21, Houston nothing. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.